I'm a senior here at UT. Um, I'm finishing my advertising degree and I also added pre-occupational therapy, so that's made for an interesting um, course schedule. But I'm from a really small town. It's called Warden, Texas. It's like an hour southwest of Houston. And growing up there was definitely an experience. Um, at the time, I felt like I just wanted to get out and I wanted to see the world. And um, now that I look back, I, I can't imagine growing up anywhere else. I think it's played a huge part in like who I am. And um, I think it's made me really appreciate all the opportunities that I've had here at UT. And just, I still want to go out and see the world. But I think all of that came from being in a small town. And, I have a great family, I love my parents, they've been really supportive of me through this and my younger brother like wants to come to UT and hopefully he'll do T4K and it's just, that's a little bit about my background and what I do, where I'm from. I guess I first heard about Texas 4000, um, one of the organizations I'm in at UT, there was an older girl who was doing the bike ride um, for 2009. And I just thought it was the coolest thing I've ever heard of. Like, I thought it was crazy and I didn't understand like how a group of students did that. And um, I knew I wanted to apply, but I couldn't really think of how cancer had really played a role in my life. Um, surprisingly, because it's so prevalent. And, um, but the more I thought about it, I was like, wait, I knew this person that had cancer, I knew this person that had cancer. And it's, it seems like ever since I've been to the, introduced to the idea, you know, like three years ago, it's like I hear of somebody every single day that has cancer and um, a couple of the people that first came to mind for why I wanted to do this and why I wanted to ride were um, a couple of educators that I had like in junior high and high school that were really like mentors towards me and I knew that they were battling cancer and it would go away and then come back and when, it's, when it comes back it's just such like a heartbreaking thing to hear to know that like you beat this disease and then surprise it's it's still there and so I knew that I wanted to change that. And um, another reason I, I really want to do this is for my dad. Um, his dad smoked and he's a big smoker and lung cancer is like one of the you know, most deadliest forms. And I know that I've been lucky to not have had a family member that has been affected by cancer, but I just, I see him as like a prime candidate and I don't, I don't want something to go wrong and one day he has it and there not be a way to treat it. You know, like I, I want to contribute to a cause that in case future, like in the future, cancer ever is in my family, like I'll have played a role in like helping a treatment that can maybe like save them. You know, when we were asked this question, um, applying for T4K, I was like, hope is the obvious answer. I mean, without hope, people wouldn't give to charity and without hope, people wouldn't seek to find more knowledge. I think that hope lies like the greatest foundation for everything. You know, it makes people fight and it makes people want to know what they can do to help. And um, I still feel that way. I still feel like hope is the greatest contributing factor to our cause and to people's battle against cancer. Um, but since I've been in Texas 4000, I've, I've also kind of realized like how important like knowledge and charity are as well. Because if people know about how environmental factors play a role in their life, because cancer is not just genetic. You know, there's other causes that can help all of us from getting cancer. And um, so I think that's just as important. And without charity, we wouldn't have the research to tell us what these causes are. So I like all three of them. I still think hope for me is the foundation, but I'm, I've learned about how the others are just as important too. A lot of people kind of have asked, you know, like how is T4K different from all the other things that you do? And um, I'm in several organizations and I think it's really cool that everybody kind of unites in an organization for a common purpose. You know, like you're there to like gain friends or gain opportunities or network for a certain job. And what connects all of the Texas 4000 riders is a goal to one day live in a cancer-free world. And that is so powerful and everybody is so passionate. And I just, it's one of the greatest organizations I've been a part of and I'm so proud to have met all these people. And I know that every single one of my teammates is gonna play an important role in my life. And I can't imagine like not having met them in college, you know, and so it, definitely the people. I mean, if you want me to like put a specific word on it, the people I think is what's gonna make this trip so amazing and so exciting.